which I think doesn't really get maybe noticed as much, right? Because now we kind of look at it more from like a we kind of look at it as a group, right? Like an upper class, lower class, this that. But then there's also the sort of generational trauma that gets passed on, right? Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, where you know, because it's quite easy to argue to say that hey, you know, like in 2023, like this guy and another guy went to the same school, and they all had the same opportunities. So shut up about all this classism, right? But then there's also like kind of the sort of generations and generations of like passed on i think genetic trauma right where yeah. which which i think has been sh- scientifically shown right like if a mother's quite traumatized during like childbearing that actually influences the dna of the child itself right so now if you think about people who were like oppressed or whatever and for generations at that time i mean you can quite a, you know you could probably expect the children to be maybe definitely like a bit disadvantaged in that sense mm. compared to let's say somebody who grew up in a more privileged you know part of that culture um and, and so i think it, it probably takes like a few generations of cleansing as well yeah. like where you, you get to that level and then that trauma needs to really sort of get out of the system to some degree and and when i say trauma like i'm talking about you know like if your parents are like traumatized you might be passing on that trauma unknowingly to your children yeah and that becomes like a vicious cycle right um so you're not a happy parent you're frustrated you take that on your kids the kids grow up a certain way right and so th- so there might be all this like anger and frustration that manifests in other ways um e- even like to to add to what you're saying even generational trauma to add to generational trauma even the fact that you are in such an impressionable age in your life like let's say 0 to 10 right like you're forming your opinions of the world and things like that like this happened to me personally where i would come back home and say you know like i bring my report card home and i would be middle of the pack or bottom of the bottom third or something like that usually rankings we had rankings in india right um i would usually be in the middle of the pack or bottom third um and my dad would say things like um well you know i would say who got first rank and then i would say such and such you know ramanathan or whatever i would say you know some the, the, the typical um and you say oh yeah yeah um you know brahmin he's always going to excel that's the way it is like that kind of excuse me messaging i think is like it's quite you don't realize what you're doing to your child when you're saying that you you're like subliminally programming him to say that you know that person is a brahmin therefore they have this kind of you know quality that <clears throat> they're going to excel academically they have something bestowed upon them genetically you don't have like the raw material to kind of get the first rank his, his wings are a bit wider and thicker right so he's going to fly high <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> you know he he's a he's a he's a hawk and you're a crow right <laughs>